What's up, YouTube? We are coming at you from private property out here in beautiful sunny Florida. Today, gonna get on some fishing, hopefully at this little pond right here. We saw one post on the Fish Brain app saying a guy caught 10 fish out of this little canal looking pond, and uh, we just figured we'd give it a shot. We've already searched around at a couple different other ones. We're actually using Google Maps, Satellite View, and the Fish Brain app kind of in tandem to find these locations. What we're doing is kind of scoping out these locations and scouting for water on Google Maps, and then I go ahead and open the Fish Brain app just to see if there's any confirmed catches at these places places because it's easy to just be driving around for hours we literally have been Florida's tough man everything is gated everything is private everything's no no not no fishing but just like you can't get access to a lot of these ponds so we rolled up to one that's just right here by the parking spot we're gonna give it a whirl see if we can't catch some fish probably gonna start with something like Sankos and flukes because we really didn't bring a whole lot of tackle out here and look we got the boys rolling up Mark has arrived and we are gonna get after him guys let's strap on these GoPros and get the rods out of the little fiesta Okay guys, we're rigged up with a fluke, a frog, a Texas rig, and a chatterbait. We're just walking up and you guys have already caught one apiece or more? One apiece? That's awesome. We gotta grab that fluke. I'll throw the chatterbait if you throw the fluke. I think that's the two smart decisions. Oh, there he is. <laughs> First fluke fish, you guys. <laughs> that didn't take long. He is a, a tiny little guy. That'll do right there. That's pet bass. That's one for the future fish tank. And look at him hopping out. That was awesome. Let's re-rig this fluke and get him in there. Okay, guys. Immediately, I identify this tree over here with a little bit of shade on a point. I'm definitely going to fish that. But let's, on the way over, just catch a few more because it seems like the bite's on and these little guys are hungry. We could get a big one over here in a minute. Yep, heard a little splash over there. That seems like the danger zone. Okay, any one of these next few casts could be great off this point right here next to this tree. I'm thinking we're going to link up here. This should be good. Right along this tree. Yep, got him. We knew it. I, I knew it, dude. This was the spot. The little point with the tree. Perfect. Google Maps doing work today, y'all. Satellite view got us on them fishies. Oh lordy 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 you got it you got it there he goes There's gonna be a there's oh oh that was a decent sized one There's gonna be more in here you guys I'm casting right along this tree for a minute Oh 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 you <laughs> not keeping the line tight that's not professional <laughs> Doubled up Oh easy Oh awesome that's number three They are hitting it Oh, this fluke's not going to work anymore. I got more in my pocket and we got plenty more in the bag as well. So I'm going to re-rig. Oh, here's one. Here's one. They're looking at it. They're looking at it. Oh, got him. Frogfish. <laughs> got him on the froggy. <laughs> First Florida frogfish, I believe. Wow. He didn't really bash up at the surface. He just kind of slurped it under. That's awesome. These guys are on fire right now. Gotcha. That's the biggest one. No. All right, first little one of the day, guys. These are these little ones are feisty. Oh, oh got him. Didn't even. <laughs> They're hammering it, man. I think this might be my fourth. What are we all throwing? Okay. They're over there throwing paddle tail swim baits, and we are rocking the flukes, guys. And it's just like every few casts between the four of us. I think we've been doubled up a few times as well. All right, let's get in there. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Oh, had one. <laughs> Devin just had one. <laughs> Did, yep. Yep. Oh, 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 got him. Oh, a little bigger? Nope. <laughs> this is fun. 
Okay, y'all, between the four of us, we have got this place covered. Devin is re-rigging. We've caught quite a few. I think we're up to probably 20 fish between the four of us, five apiece-ish. And uh, we are just having a blast out here at this little pond that we found on Google Maps. We are going to maybe hit another pond in the area if we just kept keep catching small ones. The bite has slowed a little bit. We were catching them cast after cast after cast. It's like we hit them on lunch break. And now I think they're back to work. So they might not be hitting as much, but we will see. Uh, might switch it up to something on the bottom. Weightless Sanko could do fantastic here. There's almost no wind. We will uh, holler at you in a second update. She'll let you know what we are going to do. But the bite has been awesome so far. All right, guys, things are getting serious now. We've caught probably 15 fish total. And between the four of us, and there's another god dang just left and right and so now we're trying to find something of size because these little guys keep hitting there's got to be at least a, a two or a three in here though two or a three pounder Let's see what happens these flukes are so much fun you just pop it and let it sit close to the surface and then you see the white disappear and you set that hook or you even see the fish swipe at it sometimes too much fun especially if they come up and hit it shallow that's when it's just like it's it's great like imagine fishing those shallow diving crankbaits like i used to do except this almost gives the fish more time to to stop and look at the bait and and really get a good hold of it and what's so cool is it's almost considered like a moving bait right like you can pop it fast you can pop it slow but then also you can have fun and you can set the hook that's like what's so cool about the fluke and now that i'm out deeper and i can't see the fluke I'm just relying on feeling the weight of the fish. Then when I get a little closer, now I can start to see it close to the surface. Oh my God, I just got whipped at. I bet she comes back for it. I bet she comes back for it. Oh, that was awesome. I saw a big wake as he swung for it. Dang. And on that pause, man, that's when they're gonna go. So what I like to do, you guys, is pop it a few times, once, twice, three times, and then get that erratic movement, and then I like to let it pause, and I reel in the slack on that pause. But when you pop it, you want to have a little bit of slack. That's what gives it the erratic movement to where it's jumping all over the place. If you have no slack in your line and you just pop it a few times, what's going to happen is it's going to just kind of dart straight, and it doesn't look as appealing, my opinion, instead of like going all over the place. And so you have a little bit of slack in your line. Imagine you almost give the line some slack and then give it a pop as a, a quick a quick fierce pop that's what you want it's good to work these things pretty slow my opinion you can work them faster if you notice you're getting down into the grass and the weeds although it is a pretty weedless setup you're basically texas rigging this thing it's funny because on fish brain app yeah. there was one catch in here and it was like out of the corner over there uh -huh. and i was like i don't know about this one it was a little one too but he's like caught 10 He's like, caught 10 and this is one of them or whatever. And I'm like, yeah. oh, okay, all right. Well, if you caught 10 and they're in there <laughs> and then here we are with like 20 something. <laughs> I'm gonna switch it up for just a second guys and throw this chatterbait along the bank, kind of walk this corner, see if something will hit this since the other dudes are using those. They're using more swim baits. And so I think we can get a hit on the chatter. Dude, they're up shallow. I see this guy right here, just chilling on the bank. Oh, do I got one? Chatterbait. Nice. And look at that. It's bringing us the big ones. Sweet. First chatterbait fish. Yep. There we go. Come on in. Chatterbait domination. Back in action. Took a minute. Oh, he went after the line. Guys. He totally went after the line. <laughs> gotcha. That was cool. These guys are super feisty. Oh, we got you good. Oh, careful, bud. Easy. We'll get you back in there. Let's see if we can't get two casts in a row. my first one on the chatter bait and look at the size comparison is that not the funniest thing ever these guys are little dinks but they are hungry going after this z-man chatter bait with a little swim trailer on it and they it's a lot of fun guys bye Finally. Ah! 
We're getting really close to the bank blow-ups. These fish are coming up and they're eating all these little bait fish, the teensy tiny, all these little tadpoles. There's like hundreds of thousands of tadpoles in this pond. It's pretty crazy. Like they're just so little, it's so cute. There we go. Number three on the chatterbait. Rocking and rolling with the black and blue. Oh, he, he breached the surface. That was a cool hit. Missed him though. Nice dude. Oh, got one too. Doubled up. Weston and Mark are doubled up again. Opposite sides of the pond. It's kind of the bite is back. Yeah, baby. I gotta get one more, guys. Come on, root for me in the comments. There will be some, some decent sized bass coming out of this. Gotcha. Yeah. Root for me. Me and Weston are doubled up. Oh, dudes, I wasn't recording. I literally got one back to back right after Mark and I's double up. Now Devin and I are double up. She's on that side of the pond, and I pulled this guy out of the woodworks. I've been trying to catch one out of this tree the whole time I've been standing in the water, and I finally get one, and then I wasn't rolling. That's just typical, but comment down below if you guys want to see us get a fish tank and catch a baby bass and start doing some little baby bass videos and tutorials. That would be pretty cool in my opinion. I'm thinking about it now. Yep. Ooh, thank you. Thanks for unhooking yourself for me. I appreciate it. <laughs> these little dudes are going after these chatterbaits. Ah! Just reeling it pretty slow. Keeping it just above the grass. It is a little bit more grassy over here in this corner, I think. Oh, yeah, baby. Top water fluking. <laughs> Come on over. That was almost three for three. That one was on film for you guys and he's about double the size, cranking him. Look at the deadly combo. Oh my gosh, the brand new Scorpion MGL buttery finish. And they were throwing that with the favorite Rush. Oh man, this thing is dope. I believe it's a 7.3 heavy. It's not like the perfect, it's not really a fluke rod, but we're throwing the fluke on it. So you'll just have to deal with it. But you can also get 20% off this rod with our code Weston20 down in the description. And also I'd like to mention, ah, that these hooks are tack sharp and have been catching us some amazing bass today. They have been linking up with every bass today. These are 4 ot Stickies brand worm hooks made by Catchco. And you guys can get these along with all your other terminal tackle, apparel, and baits and lures for 30% off using our link down in the description for Shop Carl. So find a good bite like this and just start cranking them. These minnows are like all over eating my feet. Oh, got one. Doubled up for the second time with Devin. I wasn't recording, was I? Asshole. So sick. See you, little guy. Guys, I think that about concludes our Google Maps fishing challenge, man. We absolutely slayed them out here. I think we had an hour or hour and a half and just uh, we're raking them up all the way around that pond. And I'm going to go ahead and no. Uh, turn you off. All we did, y'all, was open the Google Maps app inside of the iPhone, put it on satellite view, scoped out the water, and then we kind of re-verified with Fishbrain app to make sure that there was fish in the ponds. Then we came over here, a guy said he had caught 10, and that's really all there was to it. If you guys are looking for spots in your area, maybe you're traveling, go ahead and download the Fishbrain app and just check Google Maps, and you can see for yourself if there's fish in those waters and get to crank, and a lot of times it'll even show the baits that people are catching them on and the locations on the pond where they caught them at, and y'all can get out there and catch some yourself, man. I've already got the AC cranking in the pond hopping machine, the white Ford Fiesta from Dollar Rental Cars over there at the Yero Puerta, and we are going to catch you guys on the next one, but before we leave you, we definitely want to give a shout out to Mark and Christian, coming all the way from Houston, our neck of the woods-ish, and uh, they do a lot of fishing for redfish and flounder, speckled trout, you name it, whatever swims on the Texas Gulf Coast. There you have it. They're in a whole nother realm. We would definitely want to do some collaborations with them kayaking out there in their area soon enough. So be looking out, but also check out their channel and Instagram pages, which I'll link down below. Mark is at least double our subscribers, man. He's blowing us out of the water. We just want a piece. We just want a piece of it if we can't get it right. And this tree is killing it. <gasps>